Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Miss Nerdington's channel of Weird Gasm. And today we are going to be playing some Slender. This is my first time ever playing any of it. Um, so it should be pretty uh, new, funny, I guess. I don't know. I get scared really easy from movies and stuff. It takes like an hour to wear off. Um, so. <laughs> Let's see how this goes, and I'm kind of nervous, not gonna lie, so we will see how this plays out. <sighs> Got a little bit of adrenaline. Talking. The one that pulls me down paths, not parking. It's already hella creepy and we're not even playing yet. When you find yourself alone and cast out that dwelling something or other, how far will it carry you? Oh my god. Okay. No jumping. Got it. Hopefully there's running in this game. So some of you having some panic attacks. Is that me? It's not dark yet. This can't happen. It looks great. The graphics are great. I'm just waiting for it already. I just have this feeling in my chest. I'm just waiting for something to jump out and be like, ah! Which way do I go? Do I go right? Do I go left? I'm gonna go left because it doesn't look like you can actually go right. Taking forever. Just a build up. I don't know if I want to walk down here. We're caved in! We're walled in! There's no way of getting out. Hold on. Because I'm blind, I had to uh, adjust that real quick. I do realize I have now three games running for my YouTube channel. I will be finishing them. What is that? Is that a fence? It is fence. Okay. Everything's good. Um, no, it's getting dark. Um, I will be finishing them. Brothers probably will be finished before anything else um, continues. 
I, for some reason, am just stupid and cannot figure out how to play that game, or it's just harder than it seems, or whatever. I'm making the wrong choices. Another game that I'm going to be doing is Stanley Parable. Oh my god, the door opens creepy. God. There he is. Oh. Jesus. I need a flashlight, you guys. Long dark hallways. They're making me uncomfortable. I can't do this! I can't do it! Apparently I can't open a door either. Really? I'm really having this much trouble opening a door? Oh Jesus! I can't see anything! Need a flashlight. There it is. I got it. Everything's okay. Someone left in a hurry. <clears throat> Cigars. Damn. Oh, that's a lamp. I was like, what the fuck is that? Leaving or just coming? Oh my god, you ha I can't even begin to explain to you guys the amount of build-up. Oh my god, there's more shit down this hallway. I completely walked by all these doors. Ugh. Run! Oh my god. I'm dead serious. So freaking scared right now, it's not even funny. Oh, I regret playing this. I super regret playing this. Oh, my dog just scared the fuck out of me. Oh, I can't do this. This is so scary. I need someone here with me. I can't do this alone. I keep thinking I see stuff. Is it okay? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing either. I'm just like walking around aimlessly. I remember playing on the swing set with Kate when we were kids. Well, isn't that fucking special? What, did Kate die and go missing or something? Is that why we're out here?
Oh my god, is there something in the house? Uh No Fuck this game. Hey Kate, both my computer and phone have been acting weird lately, so I figured I'd do the old fashioned way again. Glad we could meet up to talk things through. I agree with what the doctor said too. There's an explanation for this stuff. The shared traumatic event sounds the most logical to me that night out there in the woods is probably what caused it. I almost completely blocked that out, but now it's kind of coming back <sighs> to me. But like I said before, it's really foggy. I think the best course of action right now is just ignore it. Whenever you think you might be seeing things again, I'll try to do the same. That'll probably do the trick. P.S. You should call Lauren sometime. I bet some company would help. I'm afraid to click off of this paper. I've seen people play Slender before, and I know the moment that I do, something's gonna happen. Uh, I need someone in the room with me for this. It is so... Whee! Playing on the slide in a horror game! That's probably, honestly, one of the best achievements ever. So I'm gonna tell you guys about a really funny dream that I had. It was several, well, I want to say like a year ago at least. Uh, I don't know how many of you watch Walking Dead, but I love that show. It's a great show. Oh my god, open the fucking door. What is going on? This is how Slenderman's gonna get me. That's how it's gonna happen. Anyways, well, I, I was having this dream about Walking Dead, and it somehow changed into... Like, we were in some compound, and this was way before the season where they're in the prison, like... I must have foreseen that happening or something in the show, just saying, but... Uh... We were in some, like, prison compound or something like that. And... It somehow changed into, like... This weird, weird dream where, like, the... Redhead chick from... God, I know she's on Nashville. American Horror Story, the first season, the mom was the leader of some group or whatever that we were a part of, and then someone started playing the loudspeaker, and it was drawing all the zombies, and I thought it was, no one was coming to fix it, and they were doing it on purpose, and they thought I was in lockdown, and all these zombies came flooding in, and I was up on the very top part of the ladder trying to shut it off, and... The zombies were jumping to get me, and the, one of the older, it was like a grandpa zombie was jumping, and he was touching my butt, and in my dream, I'm not even shitting you, it unlocked a, a Xbox achievement, and it popped up, and it said, 25 gamer points, didn't know you cared, Gramps. So, in my dream, I'm already unlock. I'm, I'm unlocking gamer point, or, yeah. It's, I just thought it was the funniest fucking thing ever when I woke up. Like, when I woke up, I didn't think it was so funny, because I was like, oh, it was such a terrible dream, I got eaten by zombies. But, at the same time, it was hilarious, because, um, I was getting Xbox rewards and shit in my dreams, and I told Corey and my friend Donnie and Trevor and stuff about it, and they thought it was the funniest thing they'd ever heard in the entire world. So, embarrassing moment for me, yes, but, hey, it ended up being pretty funny. Not so embarrassing anymore, I just think it's hilarious now. <clears throat> thought I'd share that with you guys. It's an interesting little thing. I have no clue what I'm doing or what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Oh, I haven't been in here yet. Or have I? I have, but I didn't have a flashlight. Is there anything we can do in here? If I open this door, is there something going to jump at me? Jesus. My mouse is retarded for this game. picked up a key. <laughs> he picked up a key. 
Oh god, the pressure's building. Is it for the car? Oh no, it's for the door at the end of the hall. Uh -huh. Horror movies and games, they scare the shit out of me! So now I have the key to this door, and I'm gonna open it and something's just gonna be like, there. Unlock the door. Oh god, the music changed! Dramatic music change! Can you see it? Oh, don't do that! I can't see anything. Oh, I thought the lamp on the ground was something coming to get me. Can I see? Oh my god. This is so fucked up! Escape, what is it? Stop it now. Into the woods. Oh my god, I have to go out there? I can't sit in a corner and like cry myself to sleep? That's what I want to do right now. Uh. This is the moment where I really wish my computer chair was up against a wall. Oh my god. What am I doing? Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. This might be the one and only Slender video I ever post. I don't know if I can handle this game. I don't do good with scary stuff. I mean, I do, but this is like the other kind of scary. Charlie Matheson Jr. Have you seen this child? Oh, Slender stealing kids. Scrapbook. So you can scrapbook these memories later from getting the shit scared out of you and you pee your pants. I'm a fully grown adult. I'm about to wet myself in my chair from this game. I hope there's not an option to run and I just don't know about it. The walking kills me. It makes me rather nervous. Oh, there's something else out here! What the fuck? What the fuck? Mm. Oh my god. My heart is pounding right now. Literally pounding. I'm walking the perimeter because I, I know I'm going to come in here and get lost. Heart's pounding. And I'm pretty sure it's going to end up in my throat in about two seconds. There's a car again. Oh my god. Still somewhat daylight out. Oh my god. Fuck this. Fuck this, you guys. I'm not even kidding. Uh, I'm not even this... I, I wasn't even this nervous at a job interview. I don't think I've ever been this nervous in my life. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. And I'm like... I feel like I've just murdered someone and going to jail nervous. I'm not even kidding. Oh my god. Oh. I'm really jumpy. As a kid, my dad used to scare the shit out of me all the time. All the time. No matter what. Hey, go feed the dog. I'd be out there pitch black and he'd scream out the door making some scary noise. It scarred me for life, I'm pretty sure. Because it just makes it... I just, oh, God. Oh, I'm scared and I'm not even partially through this game. Oh, 
What is that? Hey. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh my god. What do I do? What do I do now? Get into the woods. I'm in the woods. There it is. My phone's flashing and scaring me. It's catching the corner of my eye. My dachshund's making grunty noises here and there, and that m makes me nervous too. Here's the wall again. <sighs> At least my camera's got full battery. I'm saving grace. So wait, if I just don't look at him, I'm good? There's the fence again. Probably gone in two circles by now. Oh my god, did you hear that? Ah. Big ass rock, trees, more big ass rocks. I so regret playing this game. Super regret it. I can't handle it. I'm too much of a pussy. Oh my god. Still not seeing anything. Am I doing this? Well, we only have one slenderish moment, and that was in the beginning. Trees are all blowing and shit. Add to the creepy. Well, you don't go in wood the woods at, in the middle of the night, children. Because a big, tall, scary guy, Enderman Slenderman, is gonna eat your face. He doesn't have one, so he needs yours. I was actually on Wiki as I was looking up titles and stuff like that of this game, and according to that, which I don't know how reliable that source is, Slender Man was actually a folklore before it was a video game back in the 80s, based on true events. Which is really freaking creepy because there were, I guess, a bunch of pictures and stuff like that going on. And, um, people missing and stuff like that, so. Oh god. This just makes this game like 50 times creepier for me and harder for me to play. If someone were to touch me right now, I'm pretty sure I would flip the fuck out. Maybe I was going in the wrong woods this whole time, you guys. Oh my god. Maybe not. Maybe they're all connected. Either way, this whole fucking thing is super creepy, and... Oh my god, what happened? Oh, it's loading. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> I'm not going to sleep tonight. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be wide awake all night long. New Isle Studios proudly present. There's three canoes available for rental. Let's rent one of these bitches. I want to go canoeing right now. Oakside Park, welcome to Oakside Park. Offers many it, uh, Oakside Park offers many recreational adventures. Oakside Park Recreational Center is open at 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Zorbing? What the fuck is Zorbing? Formal attire discouraged but not expressly prohibited, including dark suits. I don't know what Zorbing is. Maybe that's just me, but I do not know what Zorbing is. Personal flotation. 
Oh my god, there's something moving while I'm reading this. What the hell? Do not cross water line floats. Reflective gear should be worn if canoeing at night. Do not interact with any and all marine life. Is the canoe? We swimming? Can we swim? No, we can't swim. It's because I'm afraid of water. Not really. Not really afraid of water. But uh, that means we're supposed to go inside. Duh. Maybe not. Maybe we're not even supposed to be here. All I hear in the background is Final Fantasy noise. That's it. Which is good because it distracts me from the creepiness of this game! Not really, because I'm still, like, on the edge of my seat scared right now. Looks like a fucking dead body with a decapitated head from further back. What is that? the canoe. Where's the people? Oh my god. What is that? Shut up, owl. Jesus, you guys. Just close the door behind us. And pretend like we didn't even come here. That's what we need to do. Right now. Long dark hallways with all kinds of doors and shit all over the place. This place is messed up. Ugh, fuck, I'm so nervous right now. The toilet. What is on the wall? Help me. One of eight pages. Oh, shit. That means it started, right? No, I shouldn't have picked it up. I was just picking stuff up all willy-nilly all over the place. It was a bad idea. Oh, shit. Stupid move. I can hear it in the background. Oh my god. Why did I do this? Oh, another creepy place. There's another page. <gasps> Shit! Fuck! Oh my god! 
Okay, well, I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, that's going to be the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching me get the shit scared out of me, and I will see you next time as maybe we play another Slender game. I don't know. Hopefully, if you like this video, you'll like, comment, and subscribe as always. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.